Oh, howdy, y'all. I'm Rex Hooper. And um, welcome to my own TV show. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm here with the O'Bannon brothers, and we're going to do a few songs for you. This first song is called Empty Bottles About Life on the Road. I woke my quad dead next to a stranger in bed of a ragged old highway side motel. Oh, with my beat up old six string, we could just about still sing to a happily disappointed clientele. Poster says I was once a star, once the master of rough guitar, and I need these little bottles to feel big. Now, every night, another show, songs about a man I used to know. I'll take a pass for love at every gig. Empty bottles, empty like me. When it comes to drinking, there's one guarantee. I drink and drink and if I fill the void, it's more than just my life destroyed. Empty bottles, empty like me. I'll try to be tender, I'll pretend that I remember The girl that's lying next to me in bed Well, I know that she weren't bought for And that this time she was fought for By my swollen hands and busted open head She don't remember neither And through alcoholic fever We both struggle to think of who we were last night I remind her of my name and my now departed fame And how the rumors of my death were just half right Empty bottles, empty like me When it comes to drinking, there's one guarantee Well, everyone's born with a debt to pay I'ma let that liquor drown the deal away Empty bottles, empty like me Laughter and applause, it's hard to pinpoint the cause why I need the approval and the beer I've been at this game so long Singing the same darn old songs It's an enabling, if not stabling, career I'll drain the last of my flask I'll try to make every drop last I'm suiciding by whiskey slinging In this business to survive You've got to stay but half alive And turn the dead step of life To a song worth singing Empty bottles, empty like me When it comes to drinking, there's one guarantee Drinking, drinking, if I fill the void It's more than just my life destroyed Empty bottles, empty like me Empty bottles, empty like me Empty bottles, empty like me I think that the the original version of what Natalie Price was is we were we were rock and roll bands, you know, um, four guys, and we made some great albums. Uh -huh. And then it reached a point where I feel like we we made all the ones we needed to as that band, uh -huh. if that makes sense. Like I think that 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 was complete. But then, how do you how do you move on? I think that. Just making sense is that yeah yeah is I mean, that it's yeah. kind of like the idea that what ruins most bands is that they keep doing the same thing. Yeah, is that it's just it's that they were great and then every single time they make more music, it's it's a worse version of the thing that came before. Mm -hmm. So to make sure that that never happens is do something totally different. Yeah, because we made we made three albums. That was a linear progression. I feel like you know your yeah, first, yeah. first three albums. I would say very much from the first to the second to the third were what we were interested in doing as that band. Yeah. And then, and I mean, really, three albums is usually about the limit for a, good, yeah. for, for a band to be good. <laughs> yeah. You've got your exciting first, not, not that I'm trying to say that we had like the most exciting first album or anything like that, but the generally it's exciting first album, Second album where they're trying to do a little bit different, Bigger expand and, it yeah, a bit, yeah. and then the third album where they're, you know, they're they're maybe a little bit technically a little bit better. But they're coming to an end. Yeah, that third album's got a nice kind of sad, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, more complete kind of uh -huh. the ending of a story, the end of a trilogy. Yeah. So then after that, you you do uh, jazz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that made sense. Yeah. I don't I, think it was a conscious decision to do a jazz album either. It was just more of a 
not wanting to do the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. I think that as we went on, it became far more, I think it's that once you find the thing that you like, you lean into it. Yeah. And it was that like, so the, the first jazz one was like, Hey, let's try a jazz album. But Mm -hmm. then after that, it became characters and alter egos and, and something a bit more like fully, like we would be a different band. Mm -hmm. Um, so even with when we did the the fifties one, it was Ronnie Rocket and the fifty thousand yeah, yeah. volts. Like, and I think that's the band that we're playing on that record, even though it's a Natalie mm-hmm. Price record. But one of the things that hopefully is going to emerge from having enough releases is that what Natalie Price really means is not that they were this one band that are now doing different things. Is that what Natalie Price is? Is you know a musical collective that's able to try different musical projects yeah is that that's the thing you want from natalie price which is like a, a difficult uh model <laughs> because i think mostly people like you to be the same yeah i suppose i mean that's it if someone's in the mood for a certain kind of music they'll listen to a certain kind of band but yeah whereas... i mean at the end of the day i think we're we have massive freedom to do whatever we want because we all have day jobs and we're not trying to be rock stars so I think that's uh, you know Which it's is a big strength. It's something that nobody would talk about. Not, yeah, no, maybe not, not nobody, but what yeah. people wouldn't like to admit is that the um, one of the creative freedoms of being not very successful. Mm-hmm. So that's why people wouldn't want to talk about. It. They don't want to admit how much their struggle is. <laughs> it's the reality is, you know, so many musicians. It's not. Yeah. It's not how it was, but that. So what we lose in financial or commercial <laughs> uh, success, we you get uh, freedom artistically and i think that is true and something that i don't take for granted is that you know i know people that are or no off i don't know anyone that famous but people that um they reach a certain level of success yeah where they're struggling to keep being a musician but they're also not allowed to change the record yeah. label has their claws in and like nope you go back and make it more like the one before <laughs> yeah i'm playing the same songs every night and they hate it they don't yeah. even like the songs anymore yeah, yeah. i mean i've had friends that have told me that and i just think at least we don't have to worry about that because we do something completely different. Our struggle is trying to remember what new songs we've got to learn. Yeah. <laughs> it was the sheer amount of songs to yeah, learn. Yeah, I know. The it's just we, we do them and then <laughs> they're gone forever. Yeah. Will we ever do a uh, comeback tour? <laughs> it's tour. Does anybody want a comeback tour at the end of the day? Let's, let's be real. Uh, <laughs> no, they want the new stuff. Yeah. You know, interesting. I think that's one of the things that it hopefully is one of the... Uh, the merits of what we're doing is that the new stuff is the most exciting Mm -hmm. because it is like it's not that this is my favourite band ever and I love when they play that one song Mm. we've not had any massive hits Mm -hmm. yet (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but that means that the the joy of Natalie Price is to see what's next well I'm still Rex Hooper these are still the O'Bannon brothers and we want to do another song for you this song is about bad days and um what else is this song about? About um, coming to terms with your own share of bad luck. I think if you were given the option, would you exchange your own bad luck for another person's? I don't know. You'll never know what worse luck your bad luck will save you from. As bad as your luck has been, you can bet there'll be more to come. You started out with nothing Since then you lost it all Went from hurt to dirt Went from worse to worse How the mighty will fall All the time you spend fixing To get back what you had before Grieving and believing And attempt to be retrieving While more's out the door what you won't never find Is a bunch of good luck for free Good fortune comes at a sizable financial fee What you got ain't worth having What you need ain't worth stating When up your worries and woes It ain't worth frustrating your life has been shaped out of the days it's been shaped from 
Act with realistic, you're staying optimistic for better bad days to come. You'll never know what worse love your bad luck has saved you from. Bad as your luck has been, you can bet there'll be more to come. Can you learn to be happy? Or are you fixed on one track? Good days and bad days and happiness don't stay as you ain't got the knack. Your life has been shaped out of the days it's been shaped from. Heck with realistic, you're staying optimistic for better bad days to come. To heck with realistic, you're staying optimistic for better bad days to come. There is a big country scene in Glasgow. We're not. We're not part. We're of not that. in yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get us in. But no, it's taken really seriously. There is a big thing and it's... I don't know how accepting they would be of things like Rex. Yeah. They might see that as... A bit like, you know, it was funny, we were talking about the um, Spaghetti Western Orchestra. Mm -hmm. And I said that part of me is a little... Almost offended. Almost. They're they're great, right? I want to get that on the record. I think they're brilliant. But almost offended at how lighthearted it is as they're almost taking a piss. Mm -hmm. Um... I suspect they might think the same of me doing the fake American accent. Yeah. A little bit. Maybe. Yeah. I'd like to hope people would. I have had people say that, you know, not many people. I think mostly people get it and they're fine with it. But I have mm. had some comments like, you know, what, what are you doing? Pretending to be, what, what is this? Yeah. I mean, it is, I, don't, I don't think I appreciated that there was as much of a country scene in Glasgow as there is. You or know, in Scotland in general. You've never been to the Grand Old Opry? Oh, I have. But I just, I, I kind of thought it was just, you know. Put it on for a night, you know. <laughs> no, it's really cowboy big. night. It's really big. some of it's really good. I think that um, one of the things with a lot of country, um, a lot of contemporary music in general, is that it's very clean. Mm. It's people. It's very polished, very clean, and it loses some of the stuff that I love, which is the the rock and roll. Yeah, kind of the, the the edges around it, and that's. I think you know. I'm. I don't think I'm totally unique in this. I think the reason why people go on about Hank Williams, Johnny Cash is because they absolutely had that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the 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 rougher in the edge rock and roll, and, um, mm. and there's loads of like amazing musicians that do. Uh, some that don't, they're still amazing. But I think that um, a lot of contemporary music, people are chasing the the clean sound. Well, I think it's a pop thing in America, certainly country. There's the, there's the country yeah. charts and everything, so it's got the same production values and style as pop mm. music like mm. you know your your big pop bands so it's yeah it's very clean and and everyone's very handsome and <laughs> you know there's no there's not much edge to it but yeah but that stuff's still out there i think that's the thing it's just not the stuff that's getting played in the charts because i always think like if i was probably if i lived in america i would like hate country music the, because all you'd hear is mm. that horrible poppy trash but like you said there's the good stuff's out there there's yeah. a lot of good ones you and i have already spoken there's lots of contemporary people that mm-hmm. we like you know your um western af yeah gems on vhs yeah a lot of those the, artists are absolutely brilliant like drive-by truckers and jason isbell and all that as well they're, they're a bit more i suppose sturgill simpson big yeah sturgill simpson he's pretty big coulter wall coulter wall orville peck yeah sierra Farrell. yeah at least on the, the the one that I watched. Yeah. <laughs> the stripped down version, yeah. Yeah. All uh, these things are better stripped down, though, I think. I think, yeah. you know what, that's really funny, is that this seems to be the issue with a lot of, well, I guess, not just country music, all well, contemporary music, is that it seemed to miss the point that, you know, the thing that is good, maybe this is really arrogant me to say, as if I know anything, <laughs> but it seems to be that they miss the point of what makes the thing good. Mm. So what makes rock and roll good? Is that it's you know rough and chaotic and yeah. wild, and so, <laughs> Paul, let's put some auto tune on that. Let's clean that sound up. Is you lose the thing that's good. 
why is country music good? Country music is about storytelling. It's about raw honesty. Um, it's about that intimacy with a performer. So what we need is big drums and an auto tune yeah. and some synthesis. It's like you miss the thing that makes it good. So it's not even that any of those elements are bad necessarily. Mm. It's just that they're bad for the thing. Like I always ask what I think. But, well, yeah. I always think that tiny desk concerts, like when you watch those, the, I could, I can watch pretty much anybody on that. I think can still enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, that's probably part Sting. of that. On oh, no, one, it was, it was fine. Was he playing his lute or? <laughs> I can't remember, <laughs> but it was it was absolutely fine, and I'm for, yeah I'm sorry for any Sting fans out there. <laughs> oh howdy, didn't see you coming in there. I'm Rex Hooper, still joined by the O'Bannon brothers, and we're gonna do a song, a love song, not a song about falling in love, the thrill of first meeting someone, not a love song about the heartbreak and sorrow of breaking up with someone, but a love song about the trials and joys. Of sticking with someone and the pleasure and privilege that all of us have if you're willing to find anyone to put up with you you wanted someone handsome you wanted someone tall you wanted someone weak enough to come each time you call you wanted so much more from me than ambition would allow but what we got won't make it do because we got here and now Ain't all we'd hope to be in numbers just an age Most dreams we forget about but some become a cage Perfection's a deception, life ain't no fairy tale. You didn't get all that you aimed for but an attempt is not a fail You got me We got now With one hand against the other wouldn't you change it anyhow? Do my best to please you, well I'll try to do it right I'm still learning on this journey, pushing days on into nights You've compromised and much revised your plans for a life paired You sacrificed so many things, now everything is shared You got me We got now with one hand against the other wouldn't you change it anyhow i know i ain't the smartest i know i get things wrong i know you'd like it if i didn't but i gave you this song we ain't got much to speak of but we're a family and you can have everything i have and if you want it you got me you got me We got now With one hand against the other Wouldn't you change it anyhow? You got me, we got now, with one hand against the other, would you change it anyhow? <laughs> the, the whole music industry took a big hit, uh, and true. I think that's a good thing. I think that there's less money in music is good. I think the fact that all the festivals have had to close is good. <laughs> and it, hear me out. That's I mean it. I think that um, at a certain point pre-COVID, it was like the big stadium bands and the huge festivals became kind of uh, its own commodity. Mm. You wouldn't care about who was playing. You just, I need to go to this festival. And it was became part of a scene that was not really about music anymore. Maybe that maybe that's not true. I'm sure there's loads of people that were really into it, but mm -hmm. the massive big venue, like the huge arena stuff, and maybe they'll still survive, whatever. But I kind of like the idea that that won't exist anymore, and that instead it will be more like just local groups. You know, that that will reduce right down. 
you know, I did say this earlier is that the maybe the future of music is not the massive stars, you mm. know, your big bands anymore, selling millions of records. Maybe that will never happen again, but that's okay. We'll just, you know, you'll, you'll have your local bands that you, you like. And yeah, if you ever go to a different town, you can say, hey, yeah, they've got some cool bands in this town too. Is that it doesn't require the same model of musician fan that we've kind of just hung over from the 60s, you know, Beatlemania, mm. as though we're supposed to know all the members of the band and be really into it. Is that maybe that's not the thing. Maybe it is just about just appreciating music wherever you find it. I don't know. I mean, I think as well, though, that I know for me anyway, not being able to see bands suddenly made me want to go see them much more. Mm. And I think, I mean, I've always liked going to see bands anyway, but um, it, it did, there was something about it because I've been to so many gigs, I feel like you, you, it does become a bit of the norm. Mm. And I think when you're away from it a bit, you come to appreciate, well, what is it about that that I like? And I'm sure I'm not the only one uh, that's thought to themselves, well, what do I like? about music and there is a, a component of it is the live aspect and seeing that be performed and sometimes it can be different from you know each performance can be have its own uniqueness to it yeah. i think you just don't get that in the same way because you as much as there's plenty of videos and things of people playing online and it can be a bit different it's still just with one thing i feel like with a, a live show that's a moment in time that i think we've all kind of missed that in some ways that connection it's quite profound of me, but that I think, pretty good. I I think like that. that was a bit try hard. Well, here's That's one more thing that I'll say is that, you know, you talked about the connection with the venue, with the audience, with the artist, is that I think, again, think this is going to be better in the future. Maybe this is, I'm just naively optimistic, but I think it'll be better because, um, again, because there's no money, but there's always going to be people that love music. People mm. that love, no one's going to stop buying guitars and playing music. That's never going to happen. Um, so as long as people are, playing music there's gonna be people that love hearing music and that's always gonna happen so they might not always have the spaces to do it in the way that they did you know getting mm. a gig at whatever big venues these venues won't operate in the same way so we'll have to think of more creative things to do you know find empty spaces find places where it can just be about going to see musical performances they don't all just need to be bars they don't all just need to be venues they can be spaces mm -hmm. you know just places where you go yeah it's a party we're gonna have some music. We have some bands on. Um, and I think that could be, could be better, than the, the sort of model that exists kind of at the moment, but it's kind of dissolving. Yeah, well, that's the, now's the time to try new things. It needs uh, more young, enthusiastic people to set this up, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have all the spare time to do it. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Rex Hooper. This is the last song we're going to do for this session. It's about change. I wrote it after my daughter was first born. I had a lot of change in myself around about that time. And this song is reckoning those changes with myself. Everything changes in time. The greater the year, the sweeter the wine. Today it's rain, tomorrow it shines Everything changes in time One time folks you had a mom You even had a pa, you had a home And some friends you left behind Got low, got dead and got mad Went bad wherever they're now I hope they're glad Fortunes of fate spin on the wind Favorite song, it don't sound the same Man, a broken heart don't seem so lame Passions once hard of sense turn cold Notions that you once rejected Have come to be accepted Guess they call that getting old Everything changed is in time You serve, you stretch for all of your crimes The clock will never stop with his chimes Everything changes in time Some days you need your own space 
Time's been getting your head right Other days you dream of their face Someone to keep you warm at night You said some things to vent your feelings Now you ain't feeling it no more Some things were broken, some were mended in time the pain is not so sore Everything changes in time Some days you're low and the next you're fine Gone are the loves that you once called mine Everything changes in time Everything changes in time the greater the year, the sweeter the wine Today it's rain, tomorrow it shines Everything changes in time